I'm Sarah Cheesecake Morris. I'm from Kelowna, BC in Canada. Uh, I have a 3-1 pro record, a 3-0 amateur record, and I train out at Toshido MMA. It's a great opportunity to train with amazing people. I think I'm at that level to fight in UFC and this is my quick ride to get there. It's been difficult getting fights in Kelowna. In Canada, basically, there's not many people to fight, so I went almost two years without a fight. To finally get that opportunity, because I put that time in to I should have those fights, I should have that record to be fighting in UFC, but I just don't yet, so this is my chance. Sarah is extremely disciplined and dedicated. I mean, when people talk about how badly they want something and then they don't actually walk that walk, that's kind of irritating from an athletic perspective. Sarah is not like that. Sarah doesn't talk trash, well she talks a lot of trash, but she certainly doesn't talk about how hard she works and then not show up and work. Sarah works very hard and uh, I think she'd be a really good asset on the show. Sarah Cheesecake Morris, um, she started with me about two and a half years ago. I had met her briefly when she came up to the club just to check things out before she went to England. Uh, she was a sparring partner with Rosie Sexton out there and then she made her way back after about a year to Kelowna and uh, I was a little bit skeptical because uh, we've got a pretty big reputation for how hard we train. You know, we've never had a female last very long with our fight camps and she came in and fit right in. She had more balls than a lot of guys that come through our gym, so we were happy to have her come in. Sarah is a great all-around fighter. She's learning every day and, you know, she, she, teaches, she teaches us all every day too. You know, she's great on the ground, she's got awesome jiu-jitsu. And, uh, you know, she's not afraid to stand and bang with the best of them. You know, she's always learning new combos. She's always learning new aspects to her game. She's always putting in the hard work. You know, if she doesn't know something, she'll work an extra, you know, 20, 30 minutes on that just so, you know, she, she can perfect it. The best skills that I have are definitely my ground game. I don't consider myself a grappler. I consider myself an MMA ground fighter. I like to smash people on the ground. I like to elbow them in the face before I break their arms. I like to crush. I don't go in there to leave them like walking. I want them leaving in an ambulance. I want them dead or as close to dead as possible. I think that when it comes down to if you if people are looking for an athlete that could become a marquee athlete in an organization like the UFC or the Ultimate Fighter show, you can go with crazy hair personality types, which Sarah happens to be one of those crazy hair personality types as well. She's very cool. But it's also about discipline and drive and dedication and doing what you say you're gonna do. And showing up for training when you're hurt, showing up for training when you're tired, showing up for training when you just don't wanna be there. Sarah never misses training and I think that's really cool. Sarah came with a, a real good work ethic, you know, working with Rosie Sexton I think gave her a real understanding of what it took to be a professional fighter. Uh, and basically what we did is we took that and just, uh, you know, added some toughness to her game and sharpened up the skills she had and then just kept adding on to it. The chick is, she's, she's mean, you know, she's tough, she's funny, and, uh, you know, she's not afraid to uh, get in there, you know, with the, with the best of us, man. You know, she's always asking coach to go with the bigger guys. You know, sometimes coach has to tell her to slow down. You know, if she could fight guys, she would, but... Um, and she wants to, you know, we, we can't find her fights, we can't find her girls to fight. You know, I can't say enough about her, she, she's awesome, she's, she, you know, she's, she's family, and uh, you know, she deserves us more than anyone. I think like, a lot of women are bringing skills and talent and all that stuff, I think I have that as well. I think I got the personality for it, I don't take sh I don't put up with shit. I don't put up with drama and all that stuff that I'm sure is going to be in that house, so I'm not afraid to tell people what I think when I'm thinking it which will probably be pretty entertaining because I can back it up too. As an MMA trainer, I've been doing this for 15 years now and we've had a lot of real top level fighters that came through our camp. Probably most notably is Rory Aries McDonald right now. And uh, the one thing that I can say about Sarah is of all the people that we came through, there's a very few that actually understand that 
you have to have the work ethic to back up the talent. And uh, just like Rory Sir is one of those few individuals that understands talent will take you to a certain level, but the work ethic will get you the rest of the way. And uh, that's why I think Sarah is going to be able to uh, accomplish huge things in this sport. We train really hard. We we learn how to fight at Toshido. We don't do we do everything separately, but we definitely work it all together a lot more. So we have a great, well-rounded game. It's amazing. I come to One Life, this gym where I'm at right now. We work insanely hard. We build our strength, and I have great coaching here with Sean. I deserve to be on the Ultimate Fighter because I smash. Sarah deserves to be part of the Ultimate Fighter because she's put in more work than any other person I've ever I've ever known. And she's not afraid to be mean. She's not afraid to dig deep and get dirty. So, um, you know, you're going to get a lot from Sarah Moraz. She's, uh, you know, she's one of the best in Canada. And, uh, you know, you'd be sorry if you didn't pick her on, to be on the show. Sarah deserves a shot to be the, on the Ultimate Fighter show. Uh, because she uh, she has the skills to back it up, you know. There's there's uh, people that uh, talk their way into situations. Uh, Sarah, she's always walked her way into situations, and, and I think she deserves to be on there to show off what she's capable of. My name is Sarah Cheesecake Morris, and I deserve to be on the Ultimate Fighter.